I'm a nurse <laughs> during the day, which I've always loved leather boots and shoes and things like that. I would literally love to design my own shoe. I said this years ago, I've always wanted to make my own pair of boots and literally been laughed at in my face. <laughs> Okay, so why are we looking at my shoes? Well, your narrator here of 5 Minute Docs is a bit of a sneakerhead. And that played a big part in who we're filming today. Corey Reed of Reedy River Goods. He's had an Etsy shop for about five years now and has recently got into shoemaking. It's like an irrational confidence that I can do anything. That's a confidence I know all too well and a confidence I can get behind. Hey, but before we get into Corey, if you guys could go ahead and hit that subscribe button, maybe hit the like button, and maybe tell your mailman that, hey, you should check out this five minute doc. I work in healthcare now, and I've literally watched open heart surgery, and I was like, give me six months, I could do that. <laughs> Which is ridiculous, maybe. I went on Amazon, bought some tools, uh, bought some leather from a little online shop, and just started going to work. So then it became wallets. Probably my favorite thing to do is make wallets. Hand stitching on these are my favorite. I think it just adds such a nice detail. Wallets are my favorite thing to stitch. Uh, once I started getting onto those and really fine tuning those, it became duffel bags. It's been my most probably carried one. I've taken this on a bunch of trips. Kind of a backpack duffel bag combo. Uh, but this is one I was real proud of and I've had this a couple years now. Um, again, I always find things that I would do different. I'd make a big pocket, but. I think that's some pretty awesome leather and that stuff wears in like no other. That's my favorite part about leather is just the different character that pulls out, the different things that you see with use. And um, so this is one of them that just, the character just jumps off of it when you see it. Corey has a bit of an interesting bet going on with his son right now. My son uh, recently came up to me and he said, Dad, I bet you can't make a pair of shoes in 30 days. And But he kind of kept his secret and he wanted to pick out all the materials. I was, I was just assuming leather and stuff I had laying around the shop, but uh, he had some other ideas. And he went to a thrift store down the street and he picked out three supplies, some beautiful fabrics here. Pillow, had a t-shirt, and then also this fine piece of purse that was available. There's, there's classes and courses out there uh, for quite a bit of money, but I figured I could just sit and try it myself for much cheaper since I already had all the leather and supplies and tools and everything there. So, and of course I didn't start with like the easiest shoe pattern in the world. These are my probably most worn pair right now. And again, with the materials, I used a very, very, um, kind of thin leather on this toe. The first pair I actually wore out a few times. Yeah, and then I ended up just gutting them to take the sole off to use it for another shoe that I did. If I put it on and it just doesn't, doesn't go right, um, I don't like it. So I'm my worst critic by far. Uh, but that's the, probably the pair I've worn the most and then also my black high tops. All right, here's a, just a little first round. I thought these were pretty cool. Uh, these are much, much easier than the, than the Jordan ones here. Um, I still got to work with some material, different materials, different linings and things to find out what I like. I didn't really like how they were bending on my foot either. But again, I'm my worst critic. Um, I think they're also a size too big for me. So if you're size 12, you can try them out. I'll gladly take those shoes. We have a little wager on it. So here's what I've come up with so far. This is the upper of the shoe. So it will wrap around this way. Attached to the toe of the shoe and the tongue. And then we'll shape it and form it. You see this one's already put together. It'll go like this and I'll have to shape it and form it all around here. Nail it down. I love the pillow just because it's so rigid and terrible looking. And on the tongue of the shoe, I found this beautiful sun on each of them. There was two of them on the pillow. I found that, you know, the Jordan, there's a thousand parts to it and you got to cut and sew and it's, it's real uh, uh, complex. So that's the in liner of the shoe. So this is going to be the heel counter, which gives you some rigidity back there. Uh, this is a foam collar just to give you a nice flip, nice collar right here. This liner I found is actually, there's foam embedded in it uh, and it gives you a really nice finish. I've done some with leather and they kind of crinkle and 
it's a little bit tougher to deal with. So this is um, this is a much better fold, and this will eventually be sewn into the sole of the shoe. One that I tried, uh, it's a little bit more, it is leather so it's nice, but it is a little bit more rigid and kind of gets some wrinkles in there, which I didn't necessarily like. And also the sound of that rubbing against each other uh, is not pleasant. This one is nice and thick. It gives you a really nice uh, fold and it gives it some, some good um, rigidity just to make, especially when you're making it with uh, materials like this that are not very good. So this is a, um, a Jordan 1 shoe last, so it should be the mold of um, a Jordan 1. And it will fit that sole. So the rubber soles I have for this pair. So these are an actual Jordan 1 sole and it fit this thing perfectly. Um, the ones I'm gonna use because this is just a kind of a challenge that I'm doing, I'm actually just gonna use a rubber outsole. Ah, so. I've already checked. This one fits this perfectly. And so uh, another one I did with this back here. This was an old one that's just in my graveyard over here. Uh, but this is with a black sole. And this isn't a Jordan sole, but um, it does fit very well. Um, but this is just in my graveyard. So you can see how everything's flipped over, glued. Uh, and then I would sew this in right against that sewing line right there. I'm probably two weeks out before they're completed. I think for sure I'll be able to get them done. This is gonna to start to take some shape as a shoe pretty soon. He's gonna clean up my office. And it's what's gonna happen. In exchange, he wanted my baseball glove that I bought for, for no good reason. Pretty happy with. Can't help myself. goes got it in starting the etsy shop i had no idea what what would sell i had a few things listed and i was like if i can make back the amount of money it took me to make that wallet and the tools that i bought then it would be a win and that was 1500 sales ago so i didn't wear a watch at the time uh and i don't have one on now but watch bands became like the the number one selling thing i have and even today so that's what most of my listings are it's great, I don't mind making them, but I wanna go to the next thing. I wear basketball shorts all the time, and I hate having stuff in my pocket, so just made this little man purse, took this out to Aruba with me, and this bin, I think I can pull it off, even at 40 and, 40 and fashionable. Super cool, like I said, when I travel and I take my own stuff. It's been like a successful mistake. Like I literally went on trying to make back like 250 bucks that I spent. It's become more of a reality, and now it's something I'm, I would love to be able to make boots and shoes. And uh, if I could eventually have my own little um, shoe brand and, and even a shop or something like that, a storefront would be, that would be awesome. One of the best compliments I get from people that know that I at least started is uh, they'll ask me if whatever pair of shoes I'm wearing is a pair that I made, which is. <laughs> Did you make them? No, man, but thank you for the compliment. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool to have something that should last forever uh, once you make it. And if you make it real solid, it's gonna last. Guys, Five Minute Docs is nationwide. So if you know somebody that deserves a Five Minute Doc, go ahead and leave a comment below and let us know how we can get in contact with you or them.